Hey guys, so I filmed this part just a little bit later because I found the tutorial earlier this morning, so I had more natural light because it was actually like cloudless sky. But this whole entire week has been rain, and now it's raining. So I have my headlight on, so it's not a ton of natural light. So I might look a little washed out orange look. Um, but this look is inspired by the Monte Carlo movie that just came out with Selena Gomez in it. And this is Grace, and it's not the heiress. She's a um, hometown girl with her friend. And this is her look. She had kind of a soft gold in her lid and then a matte brown in her lid. And this is just a gorgeous look, I think. Um, I don't know if the camera will pick up how beautiful this look is. Um, I really like the mascara in this one. I don't know why, but the look is just fantastic. And it's using the Naked palette from Urban Decay. And I've had a couple series going on with Inspired by so this is the second video on that, and then I'm doing also a series for the Naked palette, because I mean, look at these. I could come up with a million looks for this, and I have a lot planned for you guys. So I really hope you guys like it. Um, so yeah, you can kind of see it. Also, I'm not wearing the lipstick that I was in there, only because I went to Ulta and stuff, and I kind of took it off. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video, so let's get into it. Okay, guys, I'm, like, jumping on my seat. I love this palette, you guys. The Naked palette is awesome. I haven't worn this all day, but the shadows are gorgeous. They're so pigmented. I absolutely love them. They're really simple to use, and I love the primer so far. I haven't worn it for more than 10 minutes, but this is super silky on your eyelids. You didn't have to tug at all, so let me show you how to do it. So I'm taking a little bit of the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is just the original one. It's not in, like, Sin or Eden or anything. And take just a little bit. About that much. And put that all over your lid. And you don't even have to tug on your eyelid. It's so creamy and smooth. I know I shouldn't be telling you this, guys, because my eyes, like, might explode or something. No. If I end up getting an allergic reaction to any of this, I'm going to be pretty upset because I really like this. So, blend it in my eyelids flawlessly. And now I'm going to take the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And so it looks just like this when you open it. And we're first going to use Sin. And Sin is this one right there. Further back, I hold it the better quality, so... We're getting a new camera, by the way, a camcorder. It should be coming the latest Friday and as early as today. So it's going to be super high quality. I hope it's going to work and upload to YouTube and stuff. But we're going to take Sin. It looks just like that. It's a beautiful, soft pink champagne color with their Karma eyeshadow brush that came with it. And we're just going to get a little bit of that. Now, when I get eyeshadows, I always do a small section first. I always want that all the way down to the hit pan, then I'll use the next section. I find it just saves more eyeshadow or something like that. So I've got a little bit on my brush, and I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. You can see how pigmented these are. Okay, so I just finished that. Now I'm going to take a little bit of half-baked, and this really reminds me of, like, the Egyptian days, like, back in the pyramids with the gold blocks and stones. So I'm going to take that one. It's so gorgeous. Um, I'm taking just a tiny bit because, again, Grace in the look didn't have a lot of gold on her eyes, but we want a slight, slight hint. So just take the tiniest bit, top off any excess, and just lightly pat this on your lid. You don't really want to rub or anything because the gold will get too overpowering. Okay, so it, I barely put any, so it's not too noticeable, but that's kind of what we're going for. Her look was, it wasn't really shimmery at all, but I'm putting it into a shimmer format. Okay, so now I'm going to take Naked, and it looks like that. It's a super matte, gorgeous, soft brown right there. And I'm going to take this with a crease brush from Target, and I'm just going to take a little bit and put this in my crease. This is just going to set up the base for Buck, which is next up. 
eyeshadow for our crease. So put that all the way in the crease. Then take Buck right here, which is this darker matte color. And I'm going to put just a little bit on my brush, tap off any excess, and then just place this in my crease. Now we can blend, and again I'm just using the same brush to blend, because this brush is amazing, it's from Target, it's about two or three dollars, um, I don't know why, it's so soft once you wash it, it's just super easy to blend, so just keep adding buck, there we go, and now it's a soft, almost neutral look, it pretty much is neutral actually, so I just add a buck, into my crease and you can go back in with just a little bit more half baked and pat that on your lid. It's more of a chunks of shimmer that we're looking for in this. There we go. So I'm just gonna darken it up just a little bit more with Buck. There we go. And just blend so it's not harsh lines but you don't want buck to totally disappear, especially just since it's such a matte color. You don't want it to disappear on us. So the next thing I'm going to take is the Karma eyeshadow brush again, and I'm going to take Virgin, which is this gorgeous color. It's like a duochrome. It's like a beautiful. I don't know how to explain it. It's a duochrome of like peaches. It's just absolutely gorgeous, and it's shimmery. It's amazing. So I'm not taking too much on the brush because this color, again, is super shimmery. Put this under the brow bone and it just really makes this look soften up and pop. So you can also apply this to your inner corner if you want. This is just really going to lighten things up. Again, if you did, do. So the next thing I'm going to do is apply a thin coat, a very small line of an eyeliner, and I'm using e.l.f. eyeliner pen, waterproof eyeliner pen, and coffee, and one of my videos I went coffee and hit my eye. <laughs> so it looks just like that. It's just like an eyeliner marker. So I'm just doing a really thin line. Because Grace and her looks did not have a really dramatic eyeliner at all. Also, I'm not really going to wing it out either. And there you go. That was a line of eyeliner. Pretty easy. Then I'm going to curl my lashes. And Grace didn't have really big lashes, but they were really beautiful and just subtle. So now I'm going to take the Maybelline New York the Colossal Volume Express Mascara. I know a lot of people in here love falsies and all this other stuff. I have not seen one group guru uses except for one and she didn't like it at all but I absolutely love this it's length and I think it just works amazing I highly recommend this and a lot of people just like the fall season one by one but I want for the colossal because I don't see a lot of people using this so just apply one coat you don't want your lashes to be bam 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 because you want them to notice the shadows And take it a little bit on her lower lash line. Oh, and you know what I forgot? That I can go back and get right now. Um, also in the Naked palette, I took Dark Horse, which is right there. And it's just this dark brown color that has a little bit of shimmer right there. And I'm going to take that, again with the Karma Eyeshadow Brush, just getting the tip of the brush. Don't get too much at all. Tap off any excess and line your lower lash line. Okay, so for cheeks, I'm taking a Bare Minerals, um, it's the ID line, I guess, in it. I don't know, I haven't used much Bare Minerals. I got this from a friend. My mom's friend had a lot of makeup she wasn't using, so she gave it to us. And no, I'm not being 
she didn't give this to me to buy it. She just gave it to me. So I did her nails in return. So it's just this really nice, almost mud dirt look. So I'm going to take a blush brush. It looks just like this. And her cheeks were pretty flawless in this. So um, I'm just going to take the tiniest bit, which is too much. So I'm going to tap off any excess right on here, onto the lid. And then I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones. She had really gorgeous cheeks this whole movie. So I'm putting some more on the brush, tap off any excess, and bring it up your cheekbones. She didn't have much of a pink look. It was more of just this bronzy pink. So we're just taking the bronzer first, putting it acting like a blush. And then you can go in with a 3E if you want. Not doing it too dark. Okay, so the next thing is we're going to take a blush. And I'm going to be taking NARS Orgasm Blush. And this is the only blush I own. I am so bad. I used to have an Ulta one. I still do, but I like this color a lot. So I need to get a new blush. So I'm just going to take it on the brush, taking a little bit, and putting it right on the apples of my cheeks. And then just blending it back into the bronzer. So now you have really glowy cheeks. And now we're going to just go in for highlighting because she had like flawless face during this entire movie. I thought it was just the cutest movie ever. But she had pretty much a flawless face. So. I'm going to be taking this eyeshadow from Palladio. It looks just like that. And I'm going to be taking this lighter soft pink side. This is just a really great highlighter. So I'm going to take it on a crease brush. Take it on there and then just highlight your cheekbones. Don't worry about blending right now. She just had really glowy cheeks during this entire movie. Okay. So, highlighted everything. My eyebrows are already, not my eyebrows, my eye, brow bones already highlighted. So, just take a finger and lightly blend it. You don't want a straight contrast where your highlighter is and where your natural skin is. You want it to look like you just ran through a meadow. And, there we go. So, now for lips, I'm just going to do kind of a soft pink. Almost, it was a little dark, and I'm not going to take much. But I'm going to be taking this lipstick. Don't know where it's from. I'm really sorry. Because it doesn't have a name on it or anything. Which you think it would. So I just took a little bit of super sloppy with it. Don't worry. And just kind of blend it on your lips. It doesn't have to be perfect at all, guys. Because that's the least of our worries right now. So. Lightly blend that. And then I'm going to take an Ulta lip gloss that looks just like this. It's almost the same color as the lip stick. And put a little bit on my lips. Not too much. She had really glossy lips, but not so overpowering. And then you can go in with another one. I think I am. I'm going to take a 10 Beauty one. This is in the color Chick. It's a softer pink. And put this just right in the center of my lip. And this is just going to make your lips look a lot fuller. Because her lips were full in the video. The movie. Smack your lips together. And there's the look. I really hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Like this video if you saw the movie. And thanks for watching. Bye.